continuation from my other easy cap video and this one's how to set up the ULAID video studio to get the best settings. Um, click on movie wizard and make sure that the 16 to 9 box is unticked. Then click on capture. Now the source should be a Syntec, etc. The format is DVD and that's fine. And go to options and then input source. And if you're in the UK, change it to PAL. And if you're using the composite leads, make sure it's composite. And click on preview audio with USB device. That means you can hear the audio when you're playing on your computer. As you can see, I can't change the format um, to MPEG. I'm not really too sure where that is, but that doesn't really matter too much. But DVD or VCD is fine. Then go to Options and then MPEG Settings. Change the change it to DVD PAL 720 by 576. And if you're on a 16 to 9 TV, change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, or leave it as 4 to 3 if you've got a 4 to 3 television. Then click on Start Capture. And then press Enter. Or OK. And that's it now recording. As you can see, it's kind of lagging. Um, it isn't wasn't like that when I filmed it. Um, it's only because I'm recording the screen as well. So as you can see, the picture quality is pretty good. I will upload this video so you can see it. And then obviously click stop capture when you're finished. And then down the bottom is the uh, recorded video that you just made. And right click and go to clip properties. And then copy the file name. Then go to whatever editing studio you use. I use PowerDirector but I'll show you how to do it on uh, Windows Movie Maker as well. Then just go to videos and paste the file name down the bottom. And there you go. And then if you go to Power Director, it's exactly the same thing. Just go to Import Media File, and then paste your file name. Hit Enter. And then put it down to your kind of editing box bit. That'll do.
and you don't need to change the aspect ratio as it's already 16 to 9 and then go to produce create a file mpeg2 and 720p mpeg2 is good enough you can go into the 1080p's now on YouTube um, but 720p is fine and then just produce a movie and I'll upload the uh, video onto YouTube so you can see it see the quality and stuff and that's about it thank you for watching and I hope